Hey, yo ho ho everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft command block video this time got a few lovely little ways to troll your friends <laughs> few lovely little ways to troll your friends I'm sure you've already seen from the intro so let's just get right into it so as you saw from the first one we have a nifty little setup here that allows us to make llamas shoot up. Oh. Allows us to make llamas shoot TNT when they are aggroed. So if we give this guy a punch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right behind me. Oh dear. There we go. Let's try that again. A boosh. Oh god, there it is. <laughs> no, don't get me. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Um, llamas shooting TNT, which I think you'll agree is pretty cool. So let's just go over the command for that. Really straightforward. Let's put myself back in game mode C. So we can look at the command blocks, and there we go. So we're testing for type E, uh, yeah, test for at E, type equals llama spit. So we're looking for llama spit, and it's always active and repeating. As soon as that is true, it's going to then trigger this comparator into a repeater on a one tick delay, which is going to trigger an impulse command block set to need redstone and unconditional. And that's going to execute at E, type equals llama spit, because we found it. So we're going to execute at it now. It's going to summon a TNT. Because it's a impulse block and needs redstone, it's only going to happen once. And then as soon as the TNT is spawned and the spit's gone away, well, the system's ready to uh, reload. So yeah, pretty darn cool. Now this next one right here is what I like to call the, the duplicating sheep. So I'll save that one for the end. But this one's pretty fun. And this is how we get, uh, we troll our friends. So we're like, oh look, we're going to go get us some nice little bit of pork. So let's just go and get, what? <laughs> the pig turned into a crafting table. What? And then it, what? Right? Every time I get near a pig, it turns into a crafting table. Well, yes, of course, because this is our third way of trolling our friends. So we've got a little test in here. So we're going to execute all players, and then we're going to look for a pig. So we're going to execute at E type equals pig, R equals five. So once the player gets within five blocks, we're going to set the block that the pig is occupying as a crafting table, and then we're going to teleport the pig. So execute at player execute at pig range within player so it only does it to that pig that we just encountered and it's going to teleport it under the map so tp at s because we've targeted the pig now so it's at, at itself will be the pig negative 200 at its relative location so it just gets zapped under the map good stuff now this next one is another cruel one this is the chickens lay creepers so we're going to execute any entities called egg so we're looking for any eggs that have just been laid we're going to summon a creeper and then at the creepers within range of uh, an egg of three tiles so clearly this would be the egg that's just summoned the creeper so we only want to target those eggs we're going to kill the at s so kill itself so now if we go and um let's, let's up the random tick speed and see if that makes the chicken lay an egg a bit faster And there you have it. The chicken laid an egg and out popped a creeper. So there's another fun way to mess with your friends. Every time a chicken lays an egg, a creeper pops out. So chickens effectively lay creepers now. Pretty cool if you ask me. And I've got the command block output at the top right, top left so you can see when the commands run. So you can see these aren't constantly spamming about and really lagging the game up a lot. And finally, We've got the last two. So we've got this one. So if, if we grab an armor stand, you'll see that every time I put an armor stand down, they just start lev levitating into the sky. Like, what is going on with this? It's pretty cool, if you ask me. So we'll just um, kill those. Okay, there we go. So that code is really quite simple to get that nice gentle levitation effect. All we're doing is having a repeating command block, always active, and any entity um, named any type armor stand, 
we're going to execute at those, so executing at every entity called armor stand. We're going to teleport itself at S by 0.1 on the Y axis. So it's going to very smoothly transition upwards like so. And you could do that with anything really. I mean, um, what we got over there, the chicken for example. So let's, let's do it with, oh no, even better. Type equals creeper. And there you go. Now, as you can see, that creeper is off on a journey into the stars. Oh, and they're going, oh my god, they're all going home. They're all going home, guys. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to write. Let's, let's uh, kill the creepers. O equals creeper. There we go. Sorted. And there comes the gunpowder. Epic. So there you go. That's how you would uh, you could do that. You could always also do that with the levitation effect. But I like the te teleport effect because you can use it on items and things too that you can't normally apply a levitation enchantment to. So let's just turn that off now. So uh, it's not going to do it for every creeper that spawns in. So we've gone over the llama shooting t spit TNT, shoot TNT, whatever you want to call it. Pigs turn into crafting tables. So you could use that with any mob and any block. So you could turn cows into furnaces. You could turn. Um, I don't know, ocelots into uh, looms, you, you just get nuts, you know what I mean? Chickens into TNT. So you got creepers that lay chickens, uh, chickens that lay creepers, sorry. And you got levitating armor stands. And the last one is the unkillable sheep. Now I've saved this one for last because um, it is a bit crazy. So we'll just grab a sword and we'll go and uh, kill us a sheep. So here we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Now every time, every time we kill, every time we kill one of these sheep, it's just going to spawn even, even more of them. As you can see, it just spawns a whole lot of sheep very quickly. So um, let me just go quickly turn that off a moment, and we'll clear up the mess we just made. So we'll just go and uh, TP. At a type type equals sheep, and we'll do another negative two hundred. And collect up all the bits. Okay, there we go. So to make that work, all I'm doing is testing for. Uh, we're going to execute at any any items called white wool. So we only, I only really want to do this for white sheep because we still want the players to be able to get wool at some point. So what we're going to do is we're going to, at any time we find white sheep, we're going to summon a sheep. We're going to look at that sheep or any sheep. And if it is within three blocks of white wool, we're going to execute at, at that. So we're going to do execute at type equal sheep. So targeting sheep. And then we're going to target any items within three blocks of that sheep. And then we're going to kill those items. So it's pretty straightforward. And then the other one is just doing the same thing, but for mutton, raw mutton. Now remember you want these set to always active. And when you're targeting something that's got a name with spaces in, always wanna make sure you put it in quotation marks like that. There we go. So now every time we murderate a sheep, it's going to uh, duplicate endlessly. And every time a chicken lays an egg, it's gonna spawn us a creeper. So every time we go near a pig, it's gonna turn into a crafting table. Llamas are gonna shoot TNT and armor stands are gonna float off into the sky anytime they put one down. So yeah, those are a few fun ways to mess with you.